Hi, in this little video I will present some practical advice to help you to improve your scores in the speaking section of Cambridge's first examination. First of all, it is important to mention that in this test you will be assessed by means of a 14-minute interview in which you will be required to demonstrate your mastery of spoken English. Thus, the crucial elements for success are fluency and accuracy. But how can we enhance our fluency? Recent studies in cognitive science have found that children acquiring the first language use substantially different strategies from those of second language learners when perceiving and processing language. The main finding is that, unlike adults, children perceive and process language in multi-word chunks and not in discrete isolated units. This allows them to process linguistic information faster and more effectively. Now how? How does this work exactly? Let's imagine that this picture represents the English language system. To be able to understand how it works, it will be easier for you to analyze it looking at larger pieces. This will allow you to see exactly how all of the pieces of the puzzle fit together. This is basically what children do. That is why when they speak, they have a high level of fluency and they are not very likely to make grammar errors. In contrast, when we learn the language in the classroom, normally there will be grammar explanations where teachers will show us the tiny little pieces such as pronouns, auxiliaries, main verbs, and they will explain how these fragments pattern together. In this case, it is more difficult for us to see how these pieces fit together into the whole system, and when we speak, our speech will be more hesitant and choppy. In other words, it will take us longer to figure out the puzzle, and errors may occur and recur. Thus, to gain fluency and improve our discourse competence in the interview, I suggest you use different formulas according to the tasks you will be asked to perform in the interview. A common task for the B2 interview will be the expression of a personal opinion, and in this case, the following structure may come in handy. Another common language function tested in the interview is narration. As this follows a chronological order, the connectors shown here will make your speech more organized and easier to produce. If you, on the other hand, if you have to present arguments, you may rely to the following phrases. Another important task in B2 is to discuss the advantages or disadvantages of something. In this case, your monologue will be more fluent if you use the following structures to put your ideas together. And finally, these are some formulas for comparing and contrasting. Well, thanks so much for watching. That will be all for today. I hope this information will be useful. Keep practicing and good luck with your first.